Today is tea time. Uh, they invented a lot of interesting sterling items for tea. Um, and tea has a great place in history. Um, it's amazing that uh, actually wars were fought over tea. Um, boxes were locked and guarded. Um, it's true with all you know the exotic spices, etc. That um, things that we take for granted now uh, were cherished a um, hundred or two hundred years ago. Um, so uh, American silversmiths invented many uh, useful things for the purpose of having their tea. A thing that uh, was more of a British thing than an American are tea caddies. So here's a a pretty little tea caddy, sterling, with a, a repose top. You would um, have your tea stored in this little container. Um, the English really made them an art form. Uh, they made them out of tortoise, um, wood, um, shell, um, silver, uh, many different uh, things. And, as I said, um, they all locked. You hardly ever see two of the same. Um, so. Uh, while ours are interesting, uh, theirs really were the best in the world. Uh, the next item are tea strainers. Um, and, you know, here's a pretty one in Bridal Rose, a real Art Nouveau one in La Prisienne, um, Gorham Strasbourg, and a pretty one in Toll, Georgia. And so the idea was that you would just um, steep your tea with your leaves in your pot and then put this over your cup, and then this would catch the, um, the leaves. And um, I was at Disney World not that long ago and actually got to use one. It's kind of, kind of fun, actually. Um, another way of having your tea would be tea infuser spoons. Now, this one's in Etruscan. It's got a little spring mechanism. You put your tea in here into your cup and then let it steep and then just pull it out. Uh, this one has a little uh, latch on it, actually, so a little different way of doing it. Tea items are very collectible, and uh, one of the most collectible of the tea items are the tea balls. There's a great variety of them. Uh, works much like the tea infuser. You would simply put your tea in, put this in your cup, and then pull it up. Some, most of them are very decorative. Uh, here's one that's cute. It, it's like a, a little Japanese basket. Um, here's a very common themed one, a little teapot. Um, but, um, you know, we have collectors who have many, many hundreds of uh, tea, ball, tea balls um, or tea infusers and uh, makes a great collectible. One of the rarer items, in American silver anyway, um, is this little uh, tea basket. They're, they're, um, we copied the French in these. And so uh, this little basket uh, fits into the spout of your teapot and then catches the leaves. Kind of a, a neat way of doing it. It actually, actually works fairly well. But um, this little piece is very rare in American silver. You just don't see many of them at all. And then here um, I have two tea caddy spoons. Okay, so you have your tea caddy your, um, that holds the tea and you have to have an implement to remove the tea from uh, there and, and these little shovels or spoons uh, were made for that purpose. Um, you know, here's one uh, American from the 1880s and here's one that's George Jensen, um, 1930s. And then um, they also, you know, had implements for tea time. Um, they had tea knives and tea forks. So you would have um, uh, tea time service knives and forks. You'd have uh, breakfast um, knives and forks. You'd have lunch knives and forks. And you'd have dinner knives and forks. And um, Tiffany's are probably the nicest. They have sterling blades on the knives. They did them in virtually all their patterns. And, um, you know, it's it, sometime just have an afternoon tea. It's a lot of fun using all these implements. Thank you.